What up, what up, what up, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back, welcome back. It's yours truly, Just Dave, and we are here at the Still Save Show where we literally break down the breakthrough and I sit down with some of the world's most influential and inspiring individuals. And today is unlike any other, because I got my homie. I got my good friend, the one and only Flipper Rachi, Lil Flip, Fondra Flip, is in the building. One of my favorite Houstonians, ladies and gentlemen. What it do, baby? Hey, man, working smart, not hard, staying out the way. I know that's right, man. Well, it's hard for you to stay out the way because you got such a huge personality, dog. What you been up to, man? Working smart. Like, um, I'm working on a movie called King Life. Um, we still doing a lot of stuff with Exotic Pop for the community. Um, Funch and Flip, my new album is dropping. Uh, it'll be out November 11th. I pushed it back a week because I wanted to get these videos done. Um, but we just going hard with my new single, God Got Us All. It's a lot of things going on in the world at this moment. And, Man. You know, I, I just had to go back to my church roots and, and let them know that, um, you know, you keep your faith and you work. You know, you got to keep your faith and do the work. No, absolutely, and, you know, man. And, absolutely. And, and things will be all right, better than what you, you know, what you're in right now. Yeah, yeah. I'm glad you said that, bro. And I've, I've had a chance to really, really, like, immerse myself in the record, right? You know, I always listen to what I'm getting ready to talk about. But this particular record, bro, not only did I listen to it so that I could pick it apart and find some questions and talk to you about it, but right. I, I literally like jam this record, Thank right? You. To find hope, to find healing, to find that that whatever I need to get, you know, from one point to the next when I'm feeling down and out. Right. Um, the record is called God's Got Us All, man. Correct. Talk to me a little bit, because you said you had to go back to your roots, bro. You had to go back to the church. Right, right. Well, in a lot of my music, I, I, I sing. You know, I, yep. I put a lot of melodic stuff in there. Um, if you go back to my first albums, I got records like um, Make Mama Proud, I Should Have Listened, where, where it's like singing and stuff. And the majority of the hooks that you hear people sing for me, I write. I'll sing them and then have them go back in there and sing it over me and then take me out if I feel like I don't need to be on it. But um, I heard the beat. Um, you know, It just kind of put me in a vibe. But I, I, I knew the vibe that I wanted for this record. I didn't yeah. know it was going to turn into a gospel record, but the vibe was like, I asked for a certain type of vibe and I got that vibe. And when, when the music started playing, I, the melodies just come to me. That's one of my biggest advantages in the music industry. Um, I've won awards for writing records, you know, from BMI and stuff like that. So like I'm able to, you know, sing. Yeah. So when you got yeah. that advantage to, to hear melodies, you write a freestyle from a different manner. And um, I just do what the music tells me. And that's <laughs> what it told me to do. It, it told me, I, I just heard the melody, God got us up. Yep, yep. And, and I, I just envisioned the church. So that's one of the reasons I pushed the album back because I wanted to make sure I had three to four videos to come out prior. So we actually shoot God got us our video uh, next Wednesday. Okay. okay. Yeah. I'm trying to be in the video, dog. Cool. I'm just saying, like, let me pull up. Hey, hey close mouth, don't get fed <laughs> up, Red. I'm going to nah, let you know. It's, it's Wednesday for yeah, sure. Yeah, it's going down. It's going down, man. Okay. I love it, man. I love to hear how you're unashamed of your church roots, right? Your foundation. Right. It's something that, I mean, a lot of folks here from Houston wouldn't be surprised. Right. Right? Because we, we, we know where you come from. And, and talk to me about how growing up in the church, bro, um, how that's not only influenced your career, like your music, but right. just you as a man. Yeah, man. Um, I like I was raised and taught that I was a king, right from from the from the jump. So it was certain ways that I was taught I had to carry myself by my grandpa being in the military, and then my grandmother doing beautician work as well as being a choir director and playing the piano, and then my dad being a master car salesman, and then my uncle being Black Panther. So. Like, my upbringing is way different from the average person, and um, I'm not a person that loves money, right? Yeah, yeah. So I started out doing music for God, right? You know, in the church, playing the drums, singing, um, playing the piano, traveling to different churches, but doing talent shows at the same time with rap. So I'm able to be diverse, right? A lot of artists, if you ask them to go do a clean concert, they can't do it. Like, majority of my music is clean. You, you you see what I'm saying? Because my dad taught me from the jump. He was like, hey, man, the less you curse, the further you can go. And so it was it was just a no-brainer for me um, to, to keep on doing. Like I said, man, 
it's artists like Kendrick Lamar and, yep. and J. Cole and um, Chance the Rapper, you know, it's, it's artists out there that put out messages and you jam that music and it, it's not just about, oh, look what I got. It's, a, it's actually messages. So I was just in that zone, man, just to let them know. When you when when people hear the record, right? Okay. Like, what do you want them to pull from it? I feel like a lot of people get, <clears throat> let's see, discouraged, right? A lot of people could be going through some stuff. That's why, I like, throughout the video, the concept that I got, it's a lot of different things going to be happening in the video. People going through things with their job, bills piling up, you know, people. Come you know, on, bitch. Yeah, yeah. Like, <laughs> it, it's a lot of people, for a lot of people, it becomes, like, the end of the world, you know. Yeah, like, yeah. you could be up and then you just have one bad car wreck or something and it just changed your whole mood and your energy. So what I want people to get from this record, like at the end of the day, you know, everybody got their own beliefs, who they believe in, but whatever God you do believe in, you know what I'm saying? A lot of people, they just pray and they think everything is just going to come out the sky. That happens sometimes, but you still, most of the time, you got to do your work. You know, you got to pray and you still got to be able to humble yourself and have conversations with people that's around you. Come on. A lot of people got problems, but they pride so, you know, big to they won't tell the person that they consider their brother right next to them, hey, man, I'm going through this. You never know the person right next to you might be the person that could help solve your problem. But but if you don't, you know, open your mouth, a person will never know what you're going through, man. So, you know, I just want people to understand that. No matter what you got going on, you just got to keep doing the right thing. And that's how church helped me navigate um, through my career, right? Because yeah, yeah. I don't love money, right? Like, yeah, we yeah. need money to survive. But sure. at the same time, the older and wiser you get, you realize relationships are last money, right? Come on. So you can put me in any city, any state, any country and with no money in my pocket. I'll be able to pick up my phone and call somebody. You know what I mean? With a Clover G tattoo or a King Life tattoo. <laughs> and they go make sure I got food, money, everything I Somewhere need. Somewhere to stay. Yeah, all of that. It's, so, yeah. you know, it's about just going with what's right. Yeah, yeah. Relationships is definitely the new currency, man. I mean, yeah. not just the new currency, bro. It's, it's been that way since the beginning of the time. The True. Beginning of the time. Which you, you just said something about work, bro, that that, that really, really blew my mind. Because in the song, you actually say, my granny had me in the church. I praise God for work. Yeah, like, I praise God for work. For work, that part is what really threw my mind because a lot of times, like you said, we'll pray and we'll ask God for these blessings or we'll ask Him for favor, and we just sit back and expect Him to like open up the sky, right, Correct. and just Correct. miraculously make a way. But a lot of times, He don't just give us something; He will give us work. Correct, correct, right? and that's that was the great thing about it. That's why a lot of people they ask me, they be like, "Hey, man, do you ever get stage fright or shy or?" I don't know what that is because when you born in my family, you doing music. Like we didn't have no choice. It wasn't no, do you want to go to church? Do you want to sing? It was like, no, your grandmother played the piano. You know what I'm saying? She the choir director. This is what we doing. So that's why I'm able to navigate and really have a peace of mind no matter what's going on, no matter how many times my song play on the radio or I don't let the fame, you know, control who I am. You know what I mean? And um, I'm just creating the art. I don't yeah. let the money get in the way of the art. Like, yeah, if yeah. I hear a record or I'm working with an artist, and, like, last week an artist paid me to do a video, um, Jay Xavier, he paid me to do a video, right? I did the video. Then while we at the video shoot, he's playing another record. I forgot the name of the record, but it's, like, for the ladies. In my pocket, some back pocket, something like that. I'm like, that's the one you need to be pushing. I'm like, I want to get on that record. So I'm like, I'm going to get on this record. I'm going to do this one for free. Man. Just on the strength of yeah. Um, when I see other artists that I've I've known, because I know I've known him since he was a little, little kid. So to see him still working and his dad helping push him, when I see people that take the craft seriously, the same way actors um, want musicians to take acting you know serious right so when i see people that take this craft serious i you know i pull a coattail and and, and give them extra words and, and and try to give them extra things because it's people like snoop dogg and devin the dude and a long list of people that have done things for me behind the scenes floyd mayweather come on that um helped me and they didn't have to do that but those things that they taught me and told me like every time i see floyd mayweather 
he'd be like, flip, I can do that. And <laughs> he, he said it all the time. Because yeah, when yeah, I yeah. first met him in Vegas, he was like, you know what? I used to jam in Grand Rapids in my Bentley. I'm like, what? He said, I used to jam. I can do that. So this is what he told me like almost 25 years ago, like when I first, first met him. And every time till this day, when Floyd Mayweather see me, he'd be like, flip, I can do that. I and then he'll, that. he'll just keep <laughs> on about his day. So little things like that just let me know that my music have, has changed people and impacted people's lives. So when I do my music and my albums, I like to tell the whole story, both sides of the story, the pros and the cons. Like I want to cover all the ground because – Life is really simple. If yeah. if we follow the simple rule that they tell us as kids, the golden rule, do unto others as you would have them do unto you, right? Mm -hmm. If you follow that, like common sense, like in your life would be much more peaceful. Yeah, man, you get what you <laughs> give, bro. Karma. You Correct. Know what I'm saying you reap what you sow. Correct. All those principles that are in the Bible, right? They're they're, they're and, and honestly, they're available to everybody, not just believers and Christians, Correct. right? Like God put those principles in the universe, right? And that's why you see folks who may not necessarily believe in God excelling because they've taken those kingdom principles Correct. and they've applied them, even if they're not believers. You feel me? Like Correct. those are just principles in the universe. But bro, you said I, <laughs> I can do that, right? Yeah. Growing up in the SWAT Southwest A League Texas, man, like that was that was my jam, dog. That and I remember when um. Diamonds All In Your Face came out. <laughs> yeah. Like, I've been a fan from day one. Um, Thank you. You know, just, just jamming your music. Uh, you you. This isn't your first, um, I guess you can say, quote, unquote, gospel record either, man. I've heard you on tracks like uh, Thanking My Maker with right. Vaughn Juan and Correct. Paul Wall was on that Correct. joint. So, like I said, man, this isn't new to you. Nah, this definitely, definitely. It's just my first, um, my own record that was fully, fully, like, geared to a gospel, you know what I'm saying? I made sure it wasn't no curse words in it. Um, and the message just, like, yeah. it, it was just powerful. And we really go push this record. So to all the DJs and all the people that believe in breaking records and care about the craft, make sure you put this in rotation. It don't even have to just be a gospel station, you know, like regular stations as well, because um, hip-hop gets such a bad rap, you know, for different things. And, um, it's still people in the culture that actually care about the culture and care about what we're saying and care about the quality and care yeah. about the message. So that's why when I talk about the streets, I tell both sides. Right, right. You know what I mean? You got to know both sides of what comes with what you're talking about. And um, that's why a lot of people come to me right now and tell me, man, my favorite record by you was uh, I Should Have Listened and What I've Been Through. And make mama proud. Like people come to me and tell me these. So, so when they tell me this, when I'm making my next projects, I keep that in mind. Like, okay, I gotta make sure I got something for them. Something with substance. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. And, I, and that's what I love about you too, bro. It's like when you make records like this, it doesn't sound disingenuous. Correct. It's it still seems natural. It's still flip. Correct. It's Eric. You know right, what I'm saying? Yeah. True. <laughs> Had to throw the name out yeah, there. You yeah. know what I'm saying? It's a different conversation, baby. For sure. Um, but tell me this, man, because you've you've been around for a minute and you've been able to maintain a uh, a level of relevancy that a lot of artists never never achieve, right? Because you how long, flip? How long has it been since you broke into the industry? Since you since like well since just give me a year like the year my breakout year where everybody just really started knowing me was like nine eight nine nine. Okay, cool. Like, so it's been like, some years. It's yeah, been some yeah. years. That's all I wanted to know. It's, yeah, it's been some years, been some, right? We're talking about decades. Not decades. just a few years. Correct. So you've been putting in work. You've been getting awards. I'm talking about platinum albums, millions of records sold, right? You've worked with some very, very notable people in the world. True. Um, to where now you are the notable person that people want to work with, right? Through it all, right? People could put you up on this pedestal and like, man, Flip has the whole world at his disposal. Money, awards, accolades, fame, all this stuff that right. the world sees as what they want to chase. But you mentioned in the record. And this is something that I really want to drive home. You was like, the pandemic came, we barely made it through. Yeah. I'm a living testimony of what, of what God, God can, can do. do. Correct. Right? So talk to me a little bit about that, because I know that even in the midst of all your successes, right, right, there's still pressure. There's still mm. stress. Has there ever been a day where you're just like, man, forget it all. I, I'm, I'm tired of this. I, I don't think I can keep going. For me, I, I never go give up. And, and, and because one of the main reasons is I, I have so many different um, streams of in income that comes in from what I do. So the normal things that stress a lot of people out don't stress me out because my dad already prepared me for it, you know what I mean? Um, 
But as far as like when it comes to the music industry, it's a lot of people, it's a lot of snakes out here, it's a lot of um, people that are greedy. We all know this industry is mainly evil, you know what I mean? And, and people love money, you know, and people sell their souls and do all kind of things for fame, and I ain't doing none of that. So it's been times I dealt with people and to see that they don't care about the art, they, they only care about, you know, money or they don't care about the artist. Dealing with those kind of people make me be like, ah, I don't want to, I don't, you know what I mean? It makes me bag back because I'm about energy. I'm at the, I'm at the point in my life where I'm about just positive energy and vibes. And if we not on the same frequency or even close, like I don't have to be around you. I don't want to do no business with you. I don't want your money. I don't, I don't, I just, I'd rather keep my peace of mind. So it's been people that I've dealt with in the industry that made me like, ah, but at the end of the day, and this is one of the main reasons I'm still doing albums because I was just going to focus on um, my movies and my movie soundtracks. But before my grandmother passed away and my mom, um, mm -hmm. they was like, a what, what was I dropping? Oh, Leprechaun 2. Leprechaun 2 was going to be my last album, right? And my grandma, she was like, your last album? What you what you doing? You you ain't supposed to stop this. This your gift. You, wait, why are you stop? I'm like, I'm just gonna do movies and I'm gonna still make music, but I'm cool on the albums. And she's like, Nah, baby, you gotta keep doing it. You gotta keep putting the words. So if you listen to my lyrics, like I'm always guiding people and giving them the blueprint and black print and green print on how to live a better life and how to you know, spread generational wealth. I don't make I don't make music for idiots. So it's kind of like if you want, you know, just some music that's not going to you're not going to learn nothing then you know, hey, I'm not you're I'm not, not I'm not the guy. Not yeah, the guy. but if you want to learn how to start off as a teenager, how to be the youngest and be around all these different people who had head starts, who were older than me, had record deals before me, and somehow I was able to pass all these people up respectfully, though. And that comes from multiple things, how I was raised, God, my hustle. Um, I come from a sports background. I played basketball, football, baseball, boxing, uh, gymnastics, and I was the team captain. Gym, hold up, gymnastics, I did, I did it for like a year, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Like I, <laughs> I wanted bust, to, yeah, I flips, flips. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 I, man, we used to be at Cloverland Park just Killing do, doing 100 flips, like <laughs> one hand, one switching hands, and like just all that type of stuff, but that, that go with martial arts and stuff. It's hand in hand, so yeah. Flipping off houses, running up, you know what I'm saying? That that type of stuff. So by me being a team captain on every sport I played, I can work with anybody. I can work. I'm, I'm what you call a ringleader, you know, Tarzan, you know, the beast master. Like, I'm able to get all these different people in one room and get them on one accord. Now, in the streets, these people might not, you might not never see them get along. But I'm just that type of person because, um, you got to be able to communicate with different people. You don't communicate with a bear like you communicate with a lizard or a tiger, right? So you got to learn when to tone it down and when to turn up, and I'm just able to really gauge it like that. So I just move like that. Yeah, man, that's the uh, quality of a true, true leader, man. I'm sitting down with the legendary Lil Flip, the freestyle king, um, here on the Steel Save show, and we've been breaking down the breakthrough, right? We've been breaking down the breakthrough. Flip, we got a few more minutes, man. You know, I used to work at your middle school alma mater, and, and yeah. I hear that that is the inspiration for the title of the new record. I used to work at Fondra Middle School. Yep, right? I used yep. to teach seventh grade math. Man. Um, we got to go back one day, dog. Hey, now nah, definitely. I'm I'm doing some stuff for Word and um I'm actually designing the, the jerseys for the basketball team and yeah. and um building a studio up there cuz I got my program called Art Over Drugs Movement where we teach kids how to paint, act and you know, record music and help them get placements and and graphics and just different things like that because when you got a head start and you're not waiting until you a senior and you kind of, you know, able to record and you, you get to get it out your system to see if this is really what you want to do or not. So we, I just believe in giving the people that's coming after me better um, guidance and more understanding because we all, as people, we have to be on top of our business. It don't matter if it's your homeboy, your cousin, my dad say, put it in writing, make it exciting because people forget. You know what I mean? Oh, I didn't say that. So if you got it in that black and white, you remember this paper? So like, that's what we own. But yeah, Fungin' Flip, man, um, that's the name of the new album, Fungin' Flip. 
And then um, I'll drop Funge and Flip Part 2 probably in a couple more months, something like that. That's what I love about you, dog. Yeah. It's like you already thinking about number two, and, yeah. and you barely dropped number one. Like Right, <laughs> because I, I'm, I'm a... I, like even all my albums, I knew the names of all my albums when I was little. I had yeah. all these this stuff premeditated. So, yeah. like with Funge and Flip, like um, the first version, it's 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 thirteen tracks on there, right? Because my basketball number was thirteen. But then when I was in uh, um, the next year, my last year in Funge, my number was forty two. So part two ain't gonna have forty two <laughs> tracks, but I, I at least double, double yeah, <laughs> I ain't doing that many. Like, but but so then after I do that. Then on March third, I'll drop an album called Three Three Three. That's my angel number, and uh, and then after that, I'll drop an album called Word and Wesley. So you got Fun and Flip coming, then you got Word and Wesley, and those are two different people. Yeah, like two, yeah. it, the mind frame that I was in when I went to Fun and on the Southwest was way way different than Wesley yeah. Word and Wesley. So you know, I, I get to show people the mind frame and the growth and and how advanced my mind was at a young age. Yeah, the evolution. You did. The That's the name of my uh, documentary, too. Look. It's a five-part series. It's called The Evolution of Flip. Listen, <laughs> we, just, we just talking. I, yeah. I had no idea, though. <laughs> yeah, The Evolution of Flip. That's now, the that's documentary. That's the one I want to check out right there. You Definitely. Know, I love seeing the substance. I love seeing the, you know, that's where a lot of my questions come from, man, because I, you know, the, the success is like the the tree, Cry, but it's cry. the documentary, and I'm sure the stuff that's going to be in there that's going to talk about the roots that you laid True. before that tree actually, like, started to grow, man. Man. So check it out, man. Do this. If we ever were to go back to Fondra, let's just say we were to go back to Fondra, me and you, right? I do a right. lot of speaking in schools and trying to motivate and encourage kids. What would you say? What would your message be to this new generation of middle schoolers or even high schoolers if we went to a high school? I put a bunch of kids in front of you right now. What would the message be? Well, you know, I'm a Fondra Mustang for life. Uh, rest in peace to Coach Miller. That was my coach. It depends on, I, I like to ask the kids or the students, like, what they want to do. And then I kind of ask them, what are you doing to take the steps to do what you want to do? And then I ask them why you want to do what you want to do. And then once I kind of gauge everybody's, you know, um, intentions on what they want to do with their life and career, then I go into just letting them know, like, if you want to get hit by this thing called money traffic, you got to go stand out in the traffic, Right. If you want to be known as a graphic artist or an entertainer, you know, you got to be professional with what you're doing. You can't cut the wrong corners. Your graphics have to be up to par if you want to be a musician. You don't go into a room full of people. Because, you know, most artists, like, when they go into a room, you know, they be on their high horse, like, yeah, I'm the star. I ain't speaking to nobody. And you might be in a room with, like, 50 people, right? And you don't even know that some of these people might want to do business with you or they might not even know. Just a simple, hey, how you doing, man? I like those shoes. That that can just lead into like, hey, man, what do you do? So me, when I'm in a room with different people, I ask everybody what they do. I want to know who I'm around. I want, what do you do? You do this, you do. And then I'm, I'm taking business cards and different things, but I, I partnered up with this company, Clear Card, where you just tap the person's phone and all of your information goes. So, But yeah, that's, that's what it's about. I ask them what they want to do and Ask them what you go do about it, and then I just give them advice in those lanes of what they want to do. Because if you open your mouth and have a conversation, you never know. Conversation rule the nation, man. Yeah. And that's what we've been doing today, man. We've been having the dopest conversation. Flip, man. One of my favorite parts in the record, one of my favorite lyrics is when you said, Jesus walks, Jesus wept, he walking with me, I see the steps, Correct. right? Man, do me a favor, bro, because a lot of people – take advantage or overlook how busy and how successful you are. Right. Can you can you identify some of the steps that you've seen in the ground where where it's like this is clearly not me, right? Right. 99% of everything that I wanted in life like I got like God, I talked to God about it, I had conversations about God, you know, like just different stuff like I everybody got their own relationship with God, right? So I talked to him about different things. I had this thing where when I get back in town off the road or from working, I'll sit in a jacuzzi, right, and just look up at the stars, right, like getting in tune with the nature and just that's kind of like where I recharge, right, like the Green Lantern got to go back home and recharge and stuff. So it's like I just have my conversations, but everything in life that I wanted, it was like God would just always tell me, like if you make the right decision and you treat people with, you know, respect, still demand respect 
You know what I mean? But I'm a wolf, but I know how to be a sheep, right? So with that said, you got to know when it's time to be, a, you know, a, a sheep and turn the other cheek. And, yeah, because the Bible even says, bro, be wise as serpents, but be meek as doves. Exactly. Because you out here in the midst of all correct, these snakes. Correct, correct, correct. So and, it's like at the end of the day, I don't love money. You know what I mean? So that's my biggest thing where, like, I've been in situations where promoters were short $500, $200, $1,000, but based on what my dad, who's one of the smartest people I ever met, taught me, I'll, I'll say to myself, what would Big West do? And he would be like, man, don't trip with the promoter over $1,000. He paid you the rest of your money. Like, you got 90% of your money, you know what I mean? Cool. So I'll work out something with the promoter, man. Whenever you get it, bro, hit me. Some of them pay, some of them don't. But down the line, I'll bump back into those same promoters, and they they won't forget. They'll be like, bro, you showed me love. Man, I'm up now, man. I'm up, man. We want to bring you back, man. I know I, know I shorted you 1000 but I'm going to pay you 5000 more than – so it, it always comes back. It might not come back right then and there, but, yeah, man, God just showed me, man, do the right thing, treat people with respect, do what you got to do, all the extra stuff. You know how people be like after they, they perform and people be like, what we go do next? What's next? What's what's the – nah, I'm only going where I'm obligated to go. That's how I stay out the way. So if Purpose. I'm not obligated to be there, I'm, I'm cool. So every step, it's been a lot of situations where – I'm at a club and something going on and I get this spirit or I just get this energy like, man, it's time to go. And I'll leave. And then people be like, oh, yeah, something happened at the club. You left just in time. Many times. So it's like I, I see God with me. Like one time we were performing. I think we were in the Dominican Republic for like this DJ retreat back in the days, like when I did Game Over Remix. And I was about to perform and the group that went on before me, like I'm sitting at this table, right? And then there was a group that went on before me, and they were like, when they go on, you should go to the back because it's time for you to perform. So the group is on stage. They doing what they doing. They doing their song. And I'm like, all right, let me get up. So I go to the back to go change. When I'm walking back to get ready to go on stage, all I, I see a guy walking out with, like, a big cut on his face. And I'm like, what happened? And he was like, when I got up, the group that was on stage, he threw the microphone up at the ceiling and it hit like the chandelier and the glass came down and the guy was sitting in the seat that I was sitting in. Mm. I had just got up. So like in life, bro, I'm, it's like God will just guide me like he my internal Siri. So yeah, between yeah, God yeah. And, and what my dad taught me and my grandparents, man, like they gave me enough game and knowledge for me to 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 really, really – live a fruitful life and and stay out the way. And Come that's on. why everybody when everybody asks me, "Hey man, what you been doing? What you I've been working smart, not hard, staying out the way. Staying out the way. Letting God fight your battles it, because it, God got us all. Oh, you did. know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> you did. Yeah, man, I love it, dog. I love it, bro. Truly inspirational, dog. It's always a pleasure. It's man, always an honor. You. To be in your presence, man. Thank you, man. In the presence of greatness. Um, like I told you earlier, man, one of my favorite Houstonians, you always been putting on for the city, no matter where you go. You know what I'm saying? God got us all is definitely that record. Thank that you, That record man. to move you, to inspire you, to motivate you. I don't care what it is, man. Get you closer to God. Get you to the next level. It's definitely birthed something in my soul. Make sure y'all check out the record. Find your flip coming soon. Yeah, find your flip should be November 11th. God got us out. The single is out right now. Stream it, download it, call the stations, request it. It's a great record. We shooting the video very soon, like Wednesday coming up. And um, I'm going to be everywhere. So to the fans and supporters, you know, thank you very much. And go Astros. Let's go. <laughs>